Hello everyone, this is uh, Exile2K on uh, YouTube. Um, I decided to kind of like uh, make some videos for some of my characters from uh, my book, uh, Wolvon, that is currently in uh, Amazon as in both uh, paperback and ebook formats. There'll be uh, links in the description for that. You know, quick shameless plug. But I wanted to kind of like uh, take the time and kind of like go over. Um, the characters uh, bit by bit, my inspiration for why I made them, or, or and uh, what I'm hoping to do, a little bit of their little tiny bit of their backstory mixed in. I'm um, trying to keep it as uh, spoiler free as possible, and uh, I think I'm I think I'm gonna succeed at that. Well, all right, uh, let's uh, get to it. Okay, so the first character I want to highlight is uh, Lisa Alvarez, who works at an accounting firm called Linden Accounting. And she's roughly like 5'4", five, 5'5", five, five in height, um, Hispanic, Puerto Rican, obviously. And she's very meek, uh, not the type of person that really stands out, pretty basic looking, um, you know, wears glasses and stuff. And she, she basically, you know, growing up, uh, her father and her mother split, and she was mostly raised by her mom and her sister uh she's never been particularly uh the favorite of the two and she really cared for her father very much who's not around anymore because uh the mother and father broke up over differences uh they had the kids when they were were never married and so you know eventually he just he got sick of everything and left and i was thinking of a, of a potential affair or something of that nature that I might highlight down the road. Um, so basically, yeah, just not someone who really stands out and gets the type that kind of gets, you know, messed around with and picked on because she seems like the easiest of targets and people can be very cruel to people like that. And yeah, that's kind of like the basic breakdown of who she is, more or less. Uh, also, uh, there was someone very dear to her uh, a close friend uh, by the name of Will who, who uh, comforted her uh, um, during the time after her father left and she's grown a very strong attachment to him and they've been childhood friends for a long time but just friends and you know they work at that same accounting firm together and she always kind of sees him as her ideal prince and someone she wants to spend the rest of her life with but obviously she doesn't have the confidence to do really anything about it with her, my inspiration was I really wanted to explore the concept of self-loathing, uh, a little bit of depression, fear, and the concept of becoming this idealized version of yourself. And, and a lot of the ways it could potentially go wrong. Uh, with her, I, wanted, I was kind of reminded of... Uh, there's a scene in, in Mass Effect. It's like a side story. There's this girl called um, Talitha. And when you meet her, it's just like you're basically trying to convince her not to kill herself um, because she's been tortured and stuff by Batarian slavers and all that. But the reason doesn't matter. But when I was remembering it in my head, I thought she's there's this line that she says about, oh, you know, it's not me. It's just a stupid girl. It happens to her. And I, I'm like, huh. And that really kind of I kind of stuck that kind of stuck stuck with me this idea that a person would turn to self-loathing so much that to distance themselves from like trauma or pain that they would envision that point in time that version of themselves as like a separate entity from themselves like they're aware obviously that they're the same person but trying very very hard to act like that is somehow not them and to distance themselves from that, um, from themselves, basically. And I thought that was kind of interesting, and I wanted to incorporate that into this character of, of just having that kind of disdain. And people, in her case, people kind of devaluing her, you know, like thinking little of her, bullying her, picking on her, because she's an easy target and meek and all that kind of stuff. And, and that insecurity, you know, it kind of just reinforces that insecurity. Like when you hear other people say things that, you already kind of feel about yourself it, it really makes it worse and 
I kind of wanted to play around with that. And so in the beginning, that's kind of like, you know, where we find her. And then this the incident happens. And after having like the worst night of her life, uh, I mean, come on, she's out in the middle of New York in the middle of the night, of course. But anyway, so and after that coming out on the other side, all of a sudden, you know, she, you look in the mirror and you don't look like the same person anymore. Like you have all these things that you didn't have. Like she went, like she grew, I don't know how many cup sizes to be the primary, uh, you know, thing uh, that she notices right away. Like, so her body's pretty much changing or changed already. And, you know, she has all this energy now. She, she's growing more confidence. She's, she's working out and all this other stuff. And I kind of wanted to explore, like, oh, yeah, what happens if you kind of just become this idealized version of yourself, but you don't exactly earn it? It just kind of happens. And, you know, what would somebody who's been so intense in self-loathing kind of do if, if they suddenly, just like that, are capable of becoming this more stronger more beautiful more capable version of themselves but none of it was technically earned and you know what kind of person would that make them would they just still somehow be oh a self-affirming type of person who can guide others in their problems or will they become like this arrogant um violent abusive you know kind of overly take charge person and, and you know and what their and their naivete is get enhanced by this, and what what would happen? Like, what kind of person would they turn into when, when they ha they're in this extreme situation when they literally just wake up and they just get what they want after having like the worst night of their lives? So, yeah, that's primarily the exploring that you know this this concept of other selves, like you know a, a version of yourself you're trying to get away from. And pretend is not you and a version of yourself that you want to be that you see you've always wanted to see yourself as and, and what would that do to someone in, in that situation and how would they deal with trauma and pain and, and how would they process it things like that you know i wanted to explore that what would they become yeah overall i'm not gonna lie i always feel more comfortable um writing male characters than female ones um, although I just have to remember the rule, just write a character. Uh, don't fixate on the gender as much because it just gets a lot harder. Um, but I also wanted to kind of, I guess, test myself and prove a point of, I wanted to make, in general, like flawed characters, but more specifically, I wanted to make her a flawed um, woman. Because I don't know if you haven't noticed <laughs> in anything that is remotely mainstream, you, you know, female characters are becoming less and less nuanced. They're, they're becoming, you know, inferior characters, basically. Like, like, they're all the same person. Like, the same one or two. Oh, it's, it's always the Mary Sue characters. They're always perfect. They're always flawless. Oh, it's the girl boss character who's always in charge. And, and neither version ever fails. There's a variation on the same exaggerated self-insert power fantasy of whoever the hell is writing them or whoever the hell is trying to make some stupid the same damn statements verbatim. So I just didn't want to do that. I didn't want to write, you know, any Mary Sue's or girl bosses, as you call them. Um, I didn't want to make those characters who just didn't have anything. I didn't, you know, I'm not going to tie my hands with whatever crap that these people, the Disney girl, you know, is what I feel like calling it. Um, so, yeah, you know, I, I really want to do that. And I really want to make these characters have problems and flaws that maybe they don't always, you know, come out great on the other side of, you know, stumble, fail. You know, that, that's more compelling than I just win all the time because I was the bestest ever from the very, from the word jump. And the only reason I wasn't great because of like some external factor. Like, no, 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 that's stupid. That's very stupid. Um... But yeah, that, that's one of the things I wanted to test myself with and to prove, and I guess maybe in some little way prove a point, but yeah. What I hope to um, potentially explore with Lisa, uh, whether or not I get to, because who knows, you know, might die, might not. 
uh, as time goes on, I really want to explore that idea of other self, like pawning off your worst parts onto this other self and trying very desperately to pretend that you are not you. Like, like it's not you. It's not you. And, and always constantly doing that in kind of ways or trying to reach some sort of idealized version of yourself and, and you know, not really owning up too much to the mistakes of your past and trying to grow and simultaneously not growing at all. Uh, that's kind of the type of things I would explore in this story and, and maybe things I might elaborate on in the future. And also this is a video, it's kind of good for myself to kind of like uh, touch base with my original intentions. I have a very organic kind of writing style, so things might become other things and, and the process of me thinking about it or typing it out because it has to feel natural to me. But anyway, you know, damn, I've gone on long enough. Sorry about that. But yeah, hopefully you guys uh, uh, enjoyed this little uh, character highlight and hopefully the time duration isn't put off, uh, put off for you. Uh, yeah, so, you know, if there's anything you'd like to say about what I've said here about this character or what I've said in general, and, you know, just comment below, and I'll try my best to kind of, uh, to answer you, you know. Um, but, yeah, so I'll, I'll see you around, and uh, check out the book. It's on, it's uh, link in the description, it's uh, Wolvon, and uh, there you go. It's on Amazon, and I'll see you guys around.